We are in the wild, wild west. The gold rush. There is a brothel here and shot Wild Bill. They don't allow any overnight parking. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. Good morning. We have had a absolute fantastic stay here in Belfouche uh, on this ranch uh, with our friends. The sun has come out for us again today and we're really excited. So we're going to get the map on the side of the van and show you where we're going. So we are in Belfouche here and today we have one place to see in Belfouche before we leave and then we're going to head down to Deadwood and then down to the famous Mount Rushmore. And then we're going to end the day here at the Crazy Horse, which is another story, but we'll tell you that when we get there. Okay, we're a little behind with the stickers. We are. So we're getting Idaho, Montana, Wyoming stuck on. We're going to ask Susan, who's Ta -da! been our host Hi. with the most for the last few days, yeah, thank to, you so uh, much. to stick so on. Okay. The Aww. South Dakota sticker. The center Aww. of the nation. Center of the nation. Drum roll. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, and definite oh, high five. Oh, Yay! <laughs> and Belfouche is famous for lots of things. It's a very cool town if you're driving through South Dakota. Uh, but this morning, the first place we're going to stop is uh, one of the reasons why Belfouche is uh, well known. Can't believe the difference today. Yesterday was grey and snowing and now we're off filming again today and the sun has come out for us. Aren't we just lucky? Chance of a night. So we have come down to the centre of the nation visitor centre. So Belfouche, the name is French. Fouche, it's Fouche. It's yeah. Fouche, yeah. So it's French and the settlers that came here originally were French. So what they found were three rivers that came to a point. So there's the Belfouche River, Redwater River, and Hay Creek. Okay. And so of those three is the fork, the fork of the rivers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what Fouche means, is yeah. the fork. Beautiful so, fork. Oh, beautiful fork. fork. Yeah. There you go, beautiful fork. Belfouche has always been known as cattle country. And so um, by 1895, the railroad was shipping 4,500 train carloads of cattle per month in its per peak month. season. So at the back of the center here, they've got all the, I think this is all the states. Yes. At the bottom of each pole, they've got a little bit of information. So here we are, we're in South Dakota, the Mount Rushmore state. This one flag for each state. And what's this road called? This is the Avenue of Flags to take us to the center Avenue of the nation. Avenue of the Flag. I love Taking it. us to the center of the nation. <laughs> we are standing at the geographic center of the nation. This is the middle part of the United States. Originally, uh, when they worked it out, it was in Kansas. And then when they added Alaska and Hawaii, they then relocated it um, up into South Dakota. But it was in a field about 20 miles from where we stood today. But because Belfouche uh, was the closest town to the official center of the nation, they made this wonderful monument. So this is now known as the official center of the nation. And I love that the community has embraced it and really <laughs> wanted to be proud of it and done something yes. spectacular. Absolutely. So there you go. We are standing on the center of the US and the granite that this uh, compass was made out of is actually from South Dakota. It's locally mined here. What a cool place. It's really nice. We just spotted there's loads of names on these bricks. People obviously sponsored a brick and then put their own little message of loved ones on the on the bricks. Oh, oh look! 
Here we are. This is my family at the center of the nation. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Thank you so much oh, for having us. That's absolutely amazing. And this is my sister Sue's friend, Susan. And <laughs> I've just said to her that we've come all the way to visit her. So it's her turn to come to England. I think to it would be rude not time. to, wouldn't it? That's a deal. <laughs> it's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> So now we are headed to a very cool town that you may have heard of, Deadwood. I just love how grand the police station is here. Black Hills Forest, going down this dirt road to show you a very cool little monument at the bottom. We've come to Mount Roosevelt. I love this. There's a quote from Theodore Roosevelt himself. The most important single ingredient in the formula of success is knowing how to get along with people. <laughs> Amazing. I love that advice. The reason we've come up into the, uh, into the hills here is because there's a monument called the Friendship Monument. And it explains here how Seth Bullock and Theodore Roosevelt were good friends. So Seth actually met Theodore Roosevelt in 1892 when he was passing through the Dakotas. They became really good friends actually and I was just reading up that Theodore, nicknamed Teddy, would send his three sons, Ted, Kermit and Archie. What names? What names? To Seth's cattle <laughs> ranch and farm um, to learn skills like hunting and riding so that they could become true Westerners. Isn't that funny? That's fabulous. <laughs> In uh, 1919, when uh, Theodore Roosevelt passed away, Seth built this monument as a memory to his friends. That's why he's called the Friendship Tower. And that's why this mountain is called Mount Roosevelt. And it's a lovely little hike through the trees here today. There's still a remnant, a little bit of snow sprinkled in the shade from the, uh, the very light snow that we had yesterday. Wow, 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 wow. Now that's a view, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, you can see for miles. That shows you how remote it is once you get out of the towns here in South Dakota. For those worried about walking up here, there's really good pathways. No problems, even with your little sprinkle of snow. So here is the tower, built in 1919. And it looks like you can actually go in and go up to the top. So let's go and have a look. This is very cool. There you go. And you're greeted with more magnificent views at the top. What a lovely spot for a friendship monument. Interestingly, Teddy Theodore Roosevelt died in January of 1919. This structure was built between March and July, and then Seth, who instigated this project, actually died three months later. So it's really a memory of both of them. So if you're wondering how far we are, look, Deadwood's only two miles away to the tower. And uh, this is where we were this morning, Belfouche, 19 miles that way. And over there, 50 miles that way is Devil's Tower. Welcome to Deadwood. We're just entering the wild, wild west town of Deadwood. And yes, it is a real place. 
I've seen there's a series uh, that they made on Deadwood about the story, but it is a real place. And we're gonna show you around and find somewhere for lunch today. And we're just coming in and some poor person's just been pulled over by the police. <laughs> okay, it's not us. <laughs> but what's remarkable about places that we've been visiting on this route is there are really well-known characters like Calamity Jane lived in Deadwood. There you go. Calamity Jane. So we're just coming down to the main street here in Deadwood, which is the, uh, the famous street with the historic buildings. It's a great time of year to come because it's really quiet outside tourist season. Have a look, is that parking? We can try down there. Do you want to try down there? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's underground. Oh, okay. No, it's a, it's a height restricted multi story car park. One of the joys of having a van, we won't get in there. We will not get in there. <laughs> okay, next. next. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Da -da, parking found. So welcome to the town of Deadwood. It was created in 1876 and a result of the gold rush that happened here. It is a very cool town. We are in the wild, wild west. Deadwood is the home of some very famous Wild West characters, such as Wild Bill Hickok. And my favorite, Calamity Jane. <laughs> and the first sheriff of the town was called Seth Bullock. Very famous character here. But it is a very, very cool town that embraces the heart of the Wild West. And don't let this quiet look deceive you. This place is absolutely heaving in the summer and at weekends. And one of the reasons is not only the wild, wild west, but it is actually the only town in South Dakota where gambling is legalized. And the whole street is filled with uh, gaming machines and casinos. A little bit like South Dakota's own mini Las Vegas. All the way down the street, they got these uh, cool, cool shops with uh, souvenirs and stuff. But there you go. Here's one for our son, because we are grandparents. I love mummy and daddy, but grandma and grandpa are the best. <laughs> I, think, I think that's right. I think that's right. <laughs> So one of the things you can do here in Deadwood is you can have your photo taken. Oh, this is just the coolest place. They've got all the different sets. And how long have you guys been operating? Oh, about 40 years now. 40 wow. years. Wow. This is proper dress up for adults. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Where is oh, look. It? The Charleston Tassel. I love it. Really? Love it. Yeah. And does it, I would imagine this town gets like super crazy in the summer. Oh, yes. Uh, there's there's a line. Like we sometimes we book out a day to a day and a half. No way, really. We just love it. You've got like the whole kit. There's Literally like shoes, shoes and Guns. hats. It's in the safe. Oh, there's an upstairs. Have three floors. Three floors. Oh my goodness. Look at all these costumes. And uh, this is mainly Western. You've got uh, Victorian dresses, corsets, and like gunslinger outfits Love for that. women. We've got um, uh, like Little House on the Prairie, cowboys, lawmen, gamblers. Oh, they do reenactments in the town and stuff yes. and shootings and oh, yeah. things like that. Oh yeah, That's all fantastic. the time. There's, um, they, they shoot a, like a single gunshot mm -hmm. like a half hour before, mm -hmm. and they used to do it right in front of our door. <laughs> Oh, you got the bar scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's one of our more popular ones for sure. So under the streets of Deadwood would have been opium, opium dens. dens. Yes. So they had opium tunnels going wow. all the way from the bottom to the top. So they weren't worried about bootleg liquor. It was no. <laughs> it was, they do serious stuff here in Deadwood. <laughs> and you, so you had a hatch to one of the tunnels yep. in your basement. Yes. Oh my goodness. And like I said, the other one's still there, just barely hanging on. Our, our complete records. No way. What we used to do 
Wow, this is the old school photos. Yeah, we took, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, I see the original film. <gasps> oh, with That's... the proper flash and everything. Yeah. Wow, what history is there? Like that is from 1999. Yeah. We have records all the way, I think back to um, 87, 83. Eight you got you see there's history Every right there that's fantastic yeah. ever taken. it's a and it's each one of on this wall each yeah. one of these has a negative yes and one positive positive wow wow that's amazing oh, look that's at that fantastic that's a great so picture. the family can always come back mm -hmm. and get oh that's just lovely it's a little easier now since it's digital so behind me is the Bullock Hotel. This is the first hotel here in Deadwood. And it was built by Seth Bullock himself. Apparently, legend has it that Seth still walks the corridors in this hotel. And they do in fact do ghost tours if you fancy doing a little bit of something spooky while you're here in Deadwood. And I think as the first sheriff, he is loved and everyone feels that he's protecting them. So mm. it's not a bad, scary ghost. No, they're happy he's there. How nice is that? That's a very cool shop. <laughs> that is a very cool shop. a very cool shop. <laughs> I feel like I've gone back in time. <laughs> so they even do historic tours of brothels. There is a brothel here built in 1876. Called and Pam's Purple Door. Pam's Purple Door, look. And it only closed in 1980. So there you go, we've just been into the original location saloon number 10. The original, the one and only. There you go, a fabulous bar with loads of memorabilia on the wall. It was a really, really cool place to go and have a drink. So it was Jack McCall that snuck into the back door of this bar that we've just been into and shot Wild Bill. He was hired to shoot him. He was a hired killer. Thug. And that's where it happened, right there. It's not the uh, saloon number 10, further down the high street. This is the place you want to come. Yeah, this is where it actually happened. We have had so much fun in Deadwood that the day is just kind of gone. It's actually like, four o'clock now and uh, we were going to go to Mount Rushmore today but it's getting a bit late so we're going to head to Rapid City find somewhere to park up for the night and then uh, we will hit Rushmore in the morning right you ready to go to Rapid City born ready <laughs> Uh, interesting chatting in the bar that uh, Deadwood most of the buildings if not all of the buildings were actually destroyed in fires and lands mudslides and uh, it was completely rebuilt so they're not the original uh, buildings anymore and that's why they've nowadays they've rebuilt them with brick and it was also interesting that they are still gold mining in this area and apparently 10% of the world's gold was dug up in Deadwood. That's a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. There you go, so we're just arriving in Rapid City and uh, a couple of miles and we found a Walmart online. Okay, so there you go. Park up for the night. Good old trusty Walmart car park and then we'll uh, We'll head to Rushmore early tomorrow morning. Good day. I'm coming. Okay. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you doing? You. At 11 o'clock when they close, they yeah. don't allow any overnight parking or camping. Oh. Dude, these guys move all the time. I didn't see this oh. before, so I didn't know if you knew. The thing is, uh, Golden Corral allows overnight parking. Oh, so, so if so we just, just go right, over there? Yeah. 
Oh, where, where is Whereabouts it? is that, sorry? Just right over there. The, is there a parking lot anywhere there? They allow it, but Walmart doesn't. They've had... So just beyond the stop sign? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, so if we just go uh. and park by that silver Mercedes over there? Oh, yeah, in, we're anywhere. We're good. Oh, Sometimes okay. they'll line up against where those cars are. Oh, uh, we'll move. Oh, I'll, I'll just drive worries. over These there. These usually going. We're going to rush more at like 8 o'clock tomorrow yeah. morning. Well, so. I seen your deals up here, and I didn't want to yeah. wake you up at 11 o'clock. Oh, no, yeah, no fine. worries. Doing that. But it's Thank just you. when it closes, so you've got time, you know. No, oh, no, we'll now. move. We were in bed, so we'll move. <laughs> I didn't want you to get sleeping too much. Oh, no worries. No worries. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thank folks. you. No worries. Sorry about that. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to break well, the rules. They used to let people park down there and they had so many problems with uh, yeah. I'm sure people fights, drugs, and stuff. Oh, so really? Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, we oh. just ran a couple people off of this parking lot. So You'll I, get no trouble from us, that's for sure. Well, the cops are well, here at nighttime. Not, so you'll not be, me. Maybe you'll him, be safe. but definitely oh, no. Not me. <laughs> no, you don't look like that. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Thanks. Bye. There you go. Got the knock from security, not from the police. It was very nice. It was very though, nice. Uh, okay. Apparently, Walmart here doesn't allow overnight parking, but if we move <gasps> literally 20 spaces over there, yeah. we're good. Okay, so uh, it's about 10 o'clock at night now, and we've just literally moved from just over there. And if we park on this side of the here, apparently this part of the car park, we're good. One of the joys of traveling and parking up, but apparently this Walmart, there's no signs up saying that they don't allow overnight parking, but they don't. But the security guard was absolutely lovely. He felt so bad for, uh, for knocking on, on the door. So uh, yeah, it's all good. Right, back to bed. Back to bed. <laughs>